right guys, welcome back to the channel. Critter Moto coming at you from beautiful Vancouver Island. A little bit of an overcast day today. So, we'll see how, uh, how well the GoPro does with exposure and whatnot. Still learning the uh, fine art of filmmaking. Trying to get all the settings down pat. Anyways, we're just spending the Sunday afternoon cruising around the backcountry, seeing what I can see. A little bit of a solo ride today. Just nice and relaxing. Not getting in to do uh, anything too, too terribly technical. Like I said, I just wanted to get out. Get out and play in the bush. Go and see the trees. Go and be with nature. Get out of the city. batteries die so quickly. They need to come up with a helmet cam that has a battery that lasts longer than 30 minutes. A battery that lasts like an hour and a half would be perfect. Look at that, eh? Let's see if I got a viewpoint right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. All solid rock right there. It's pretty cool that the uh, the trees can actually grow on that. Really cool. A little bit of snow left there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. What do we got? 130. So, as some of you may know and some of you may not know, pretty much all of Vancouver Island seems to be owned by the forest companies so that's why I checked the, the clock I got 1:30. the gate closes at 4 we're supposed to be out be out of here at 4 o'clock they don't want us camping back here they don't want us staying overnight they don't want us bushwhacking making new trails they want us to stay on the on the main trail which I have no problem staying on uh, designated trails at all no I agree with that 100% because then we're not out there destroying everything and if everybody was just going out there willy-nilly and making trails wherever the heck they wanted, then uh, after a while it could, could end up looking pretty ugly. But for them to lock us out on a weekend and not allow camping back here or anything like that, I, I hate that. That just, that drives me nuts. Because there's so many spots out here. You can go just cruise, you know, it's like maybe an hour and a half away from my home. Cruise out here, pitch a tent, have a nice little fire, cook up some hot dogs, or some smokies, have a beer or two, go to sleep, wake up, go home, like, hello, sign me up. But I guess uh, in years past, too many idiots went out here and uh, ruined it. I remember as a kid, I would come out camping here with my uncle all the time. Not a problem, we're allowed to camp wherever we wanted. But unfortunately, it's the actions of a few that ruin it for the many. Anyways. Nice viewpoints, eh? Holy smokes. Wow. Just awesome. Like straight ahead, that's like uh, sheer rock straight up. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild to be. Get a little bit closer because I know that the uh, I know the GoPro doesn't do so well on the long distance shots. Let's see if we get a closer view. Woo! Bumpy, bumpy. Oh, we're gonna go up and around the corner. I think I'm gonna lose that. That little bit of a 
rock face there. So what I'll try and do is see if I can zoom in on it during the edit. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. Yeah, it's just pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Got some black clouds coming in. It's supposed to get ugly this week for uh, rain. In fact, all last week was pretty ugly too. It's been a pretty wet, uh, pretty wet end of May, beginning of June here so far. It's not like that for here. Normally we're in the lake swimming and everything by this time, but it seems to be a little bit uh, cooler and wetter than normal. Anyways, so let's go up this hill and uh, see what's around that corner. It's a little deceiving here because uh, the GoPro is probably flattening it out, but uh, it goes up quite a ways. You can see the angle up here, and that is almost duplicated there going up that hill. So get a bit of a run and go for it. Freaking awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Get a lake, eh? Gore G us. Hmm. Nice, nice, nice. You, Mr. Cord, are a pain in the ass. in there. I don't know if you're any better there or not. Just shawl it, sheer rock, eh? Just rock. There's more of that cliff. That's pretty cool. We got some roads down there. I'm going to go down this one and uh, we'll see what we can see. I think, I look at that on the map, um, on Google Maps there, and I think that just goes to a landing. If, I, if I'm in the right area that I was looking at. We'll see. Whoop, ditch. Another ditch. a little bit of snow up here. Hello, snow! Oh yeah, we're getting even a better look at the lake. That's just gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I think I am correct in saying this just goes to a landing. I think this stops right here at the point.
but it's still a pretty cool view. Hello. Oh, look, it's going around the corner. Oh, nice. Well, we'll stop here and take a quick little photo first. Yeah, pretty freaking beautiful, that's for sure. Okay, let's see where this goes. I'll watch out for these ditches. Whoop. Oh, whoa. That was the wrong path. <laughs> Oh, is this just the... This might be where it dead ends. Where does it go? Those quads down there? I think it might be. Probably can't see it on the camera. Right down there, straight ahead in that clearing, it looks like there's maybe three or four quads. They're shiny anyways. Something shiny, shinier than a rock. <sighs> I don't even know what lake that is. Really wish I knew this area better. Where does this go? To the dead end. Okay, so this is the dead end. Right here. Yeah, those are something. Some kind of vehicle. Uh, there's people down there. No, no, not people. I don't want to see people. No, I just kidding. back up here and uh, check the battery. Where's that one that I I did poorly? Down there I think. Yeah, that's that one. It's really deep right there. Deceivingly deep. So I'll go this side, right here. Whoop, whoop. There we go. This is where I should have stopped to have a coffee. Holy smokes. Gorgeous right here. Put this in the memory banks. Next coffee trip is here. Uh, yeah, 14%. I should uh, change out that battery. Mm -hmm.